all right so this is going to be the final video the final question in this series of videos on pune university's 2023 question paper and let's read the final problem and it is based on development of surface of hollow solids here we go a pentagonal prism side of base is 30 mm and axis 60 mm long is kept on hp kept on hp about what with respect to its base on hp or with respect to its face on hp i mean whenever you give any question i mean there has to be clarity okay okay i'm assuming that it is it has been kept with respect to its base the base is pentagonal shape on hp okay that's what i am assuming okay in such a way that one of the base edges is parallel to the vp all right and near to the observer it is near to the observer please take a note of this a cutting plane bisects its axis at 45 degree draw the development of lateral surfaces of the pentagonal prism wonderful let me take you to the solution and here it is let's take a look at this first of all let me make these edges this this way this way please this is the pentagonal top and this over here is the pentagonal base agreed yes sir this pentagonal base or about this pentagonal base the prism is resting on hp agreed yes sir from where let me zoom into this from where can you see this pentagonal base sir obviously from the top okay or from which view front top or side view from which view can you see the true shape of the base sir the true shape of the base can only be seen from the top therefore you have to begin by creating the top view first now let me give you three options these are the three options which top view is the correct correct one according to the problem description that is what you need to decide first okay and only then you can go ahead with the front view sir uh, uh, as we can see that uh, it's been clearly written that one of the base edges is parallel to the vp so if the base edge is parallel to the vp that means it is going to be parallel to the xy line sir here we can clearly see that there is this base edge over here which is parallel to the xy line but sir uh, we've got also one more option here also the base edge happens to be parallel to the xy line so we can say that both the options are correct sir no both the options are not correct because something else additional has been written nearer to the observer all of us are viewing the object from over here isn't it which or in which diagram in which view can you see the base edge nearer to the observer sir here it is nearer to the observer here it is farther away from the observer therefore you are going to go with this option and you are going to discard this option right now i'm sure you've understood which top view has to be created first and the justification behind it here we go let me let me start by creating this top view okay i have named the bottom five corners of the base as one two three four five i have left the top five corners as it is at it is going to be chipped out i'll show you after the section take a look for the front view let me extend the lines from all of these corners so this has got to be one dash this has got to be this is two dash this is going to be five dash this is three dash and four dash i'm sure you know this as far as this length is concerned it's a regular pentagon all the sides are equal 30 millimeters done yes sir now what sir the height of the pentagon happens to be 60 so give the height close it okay so far so good now as far as the cutting plane is concerned what you need to do is you need to make a point over here mm, just a second over here right at the center because it has been clearly stated the cutting plane bisects the axis that means it is going to divide the axis into two equal halves 30 30 each and the bisection will happen at 45 degrees so we are going to be implementing these things very very carefully so keep your protractor over here and then at an angle of 45 degree mark our point and this way you need to make your cutting plane done please note that uh, the portion of the cutting plane inside the solid thin portion of the cutting plane outside the solid it's uh, thick okay now you need to decide where are those cutting points if you watch carefully this is a cutting point just about one 
okay so this let's let's call it as a dash similarly this is a cutting point just above two let me call this as b dash in the same fashion we have got c dash a dash and e dash okay a happens to be above one b happens to be above two and so on c is above three four is or d is above four and e is above five right now the front and top views are complete no there is no additional information that you have to give you just need to make the development how to do that first of all draw a horizontal line and then do this so what have we just done simply make a point simply name it as one and then you need to mark these points at distances of 30 30 again 30 again 30 again 30 even you can do the dimensions in this fashion 30 cross 5 is equal to 150 that is the total length of the developed prism agreed yes and from over here all of these points you need to draw vertical lines all of these vertical lines are having a magnitude of 60 done sir now what now with the help of a mini drafter keep it absolutely horizontal uh, draw horizontal lines through a dash through p dash and so on now sir a dash is above one or one dash so here in the development this is going to be a this is going to be a in the same fashion above two we've got point b so point b is going to be somewhere here in the same fashion sir c is above three you can see this c is above three so oh, d is above four here it is that's d for you and that's e here it is now simply join all the points in proper sequence with the help of straight lines okay and yeah that's the development if you want your work to look more professional make sure that you draw the entire stuff initially with the help of a 4-inch pencil and then you can overwrite with the help of an edge pencil and it should look something like this wonderful okay <laughs> now as far as the dimensions are concerned please note that uh, this is 30 and that's 60 and this cutting plane or section plane is making an angle of 45 degrees okay and yeah, that's it and uh, let me do the coloring just for fun just for the thumbnail okay all right so that was all from my set for today and um, if you want to take a look at the pdf solutions of all of these problems i'll be creating a separate folder for pune university inside the main engineering drawing folder right so uh, there you are going to find all of those things. Thank you very much. See you.